lady, look how good you're doing. We were teaching her place up here and to sit and stay and at all. And then I realized, oh yeah, the marble's freezing. Once I put her little blanket up there, now she just like laid all the way down. Huh, that's a good boobies. She likes the fireplace. Lincoln Roy, where'd you go? You're not where you're supposed to be. Sit. Sit. Stay. Good babies. She's learning so well. Lincoln! Hey, oh, he's already. Bon? Yeah. When are you leaving? Not for like 30 minutes. Okay, well, Lincoln's in the suburban. No, he's here. Okay. You get back to your place. Hey, bud, come here. Mom's not leaving just yet. Come here. You're a little early. Come on. And you don't even have shoes on. What are you doing? Let's go. Come on. We gotta fix your shirt. You got a lot of things going on. You just leave that there. Leave that there. Come on. Leave that there too. Leave that I there. Don't even bring it. Well, you'll bring it. You're gonna take it, but you you don't you're not leaving yet. And it's too cold out here for you to stay out here by yourself. Okay. Right. In the house. Let's go. Okay, go to mom. Lady, you go sit on your place. Come on. No. There you go. Oh, yeah, just lay right there. Stay right there. No, 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 no. That's the face we love to see. <laughs> First stop today is coming and getting my hair done. We, it's December, I always book an, an appointment to get my hair done. First of December so that your hair looks good for like all of the uh, parties and stuff. I don't even know what that face is. I like having you with me. I don't usually bring kids to the salon with me. Sometimes they do, and when they do, I think it's really fun. Especially when they just sit there and play, <laughs> quietly. Boston still talks about the time that I took him to the salon with me, and he colored and played. He's like, can we do that again? I loved it so much. definitely learned my lesson bringing Lincoln today. Oh, Mom, Shoot, I'm dropping everything Mom, as I'm look, trying to... Mom, there's stoppers. Yes, hold on. Okay, come get in. Will you pick that book up for Mom, please? Okay. Thank you. Can you open my door, Mom? Yes, okay, climb in. I know that it's rude to bring kids to the salon. I think I've even mentioned that on my channel here before. Climb in and I'll help you get your seat on. It's rude for many different reasons and I'm gonna tell you why. Because kids are noisy and I just thought Lincoln was gonna be an angel and not be noisy. And so I brought him, he was noisy. <laughs> um, kids, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to bring kids to um, the salon. So Lincoln was sitting there quietly while I was getting my hair dried and he reaches up and grabs the curling iron. The hot curling iron, what happened? It got burnt. It burned his hand. Made me sick, made me feel bad. He starts screaming. So I'm sitting there holding him while he's screaming and everyone else that's there that took the time to get babysitters that, what? Chocolate. Um, chocolate that are trying to relax because it's probably their one day that they have away from their kids. And my kid is sitting there screaming. So that was awful. And then once he regained his composure, he grabbed the crayons that I brought for him, went and found a spot on the floor to sit down. And played the Nintendo. And played the Nintendo and proceeded to take that crayon and color all over the floor. So, he colored on their floor, burnt his hand, cried, was loud. It was kind of a nightmare. My hair turned out great. <laughs> um, anyway, so don't bring your kids to the salon. That's just not a place for kids. And I feel bad because I was like making myself the exception to the rule when I shouldn't have and 
sometimes I know you just have to do what you have to do and like obviously there's nothing you can do but that was wild can I see your finger what happened at the salon now that the blister oh it's not too too bad yeah you can kind of see it down there on his finger but that's not near as bad as it could have been oh are we leaving grandma's with a handful of goodies yeah Yes, we are. Okay, I will let you have these once your seatbelt is on. I'll hold these. Okay, it's okay. that chompted. Chompted? It is chompted. You get your seatbelt on? Lincoln, you keep turning that light on. Okay, I was telling my mom, I haven't felt like a frantic mom with the toddlers for quite a while. Today was a real- My quarters! They were a bunch of nickels and I'm not going back in. Get your seatbelt on. They were quarters. Oh, maybe we don't have the light on. Why are those lights on? Anyway, today Mom, is the first time that when I. Shh. You open it. Shh. Get your seatbelt on right now. Okay. Okay. Um, today, today is the first yes, time in a long time I have felt like a yes, frantic yes. mom of toddlers. But it's because. Yes, I can open. Yes, I can okay. Seat belt. Hurry, get your seatbelt on. I'm here. Um. But it's because I've had many, many different things on my mind today. <laughs> and Lincoln has been my number one guy with me today. And he's just been an extra hyper two-year-old. Yeah. I'm in a four-year-old. I just got like five new things text messages that I'm supposed to be doing. Joel just texted me and said, I'm going to put an offer on it tomorrow. Oh, what? All right, let's make our two hour, let's make our hour drive home. Well, we didn't quite make it to a gas station fast enough. So we had a little accident, which we usually don't have accidents. I swear, I, today I feel like I've gone back in mommy years by like, five or six, like I felt the frustration today. Um, <laughs> I don't know, some days feel like, very manageable with the kids over here. And today it just, I'm just feeling it a lot today. And it could be because we've got lots of other stresses, like Joel's been texting me all sorts of things and I'm just like very overwhelmed. sing we're home keep the lights on <laughs> so on the drive home lincoln started crying and he said mom are you mad at me and when i thought about it i said you know no i am not mad at you at all in fact i'm very much enjoying you even though we had a hectic day we had an accident and, I got burnt. and we had an accident <laughs> at the end of the day it still was such a good day and I really enjoyed Lincoln's and company. Yeah. And I said, Lincoln, did you have a good day? And I said no. What did you say? I said yes. Yeah, he's like, I had a good day with you too, mommy. And it just made me really appreciate the toddler years. He's my last one. I'm never gonna have these. And so it's almost like I really enjoyed the chaos the, like the chaos of a toddler anyway I don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me and I really did enjoy Lincoln's company once I just took a breath and embraced it so anyway I'm going to end the vlog here even though it is bedtime for him I still have to go over to Ellie's because we have a bunch of Bali work to do um, we had our social media manager quit on us because it was more work than she thought. Those are her words. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, how am I supposed to do it? If it's a lot of work for you and I'm doing that times two plus everything else, I was like, please. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Um, my night feels like it's just beginning with what I still have left to do of the day. Lincoln apparently is ready to go. He's out of here. So, okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.